All right, well, I want to show you guys my my giant cherry tree. And uh, I had to wait for the sun to kind of go go behind the clouds a little bit. Otherwise, it's just too bright to see it. But And I'm going to take you guys over there. Now, this is a giant cherry tree. And I've been to DC and this guy is just as big, if not bigger, than the big cherry trees that you see in Washington, DC. And it is in full bloom right now, guys. And it's a beautiful day today. So it's buzzing with little bees and Maybe I can zoom in so you can see all the little bees. But unfortunately, this tree does not fruit. I'm pretty sure it's an ornamental cherry tree. Or it's a big fruit tree. It's a big cherry tree that doesn't have a pollinator. Um, not sure. There aren't, I mean, some of these cherry trees are really specific on what type of pollinators there are. So I try to plant as many varieties as I can. I don't think the native black cherry can pollinate these, otherwise there'd be fruit. Um, but I used to cut close to the base and kind of mulch around there. But there was some wild um, roses, some little vining roses, like a multiflora rose. That looks really, really pretty when the, when it starts flowering here, and I just kind of left it a little bit. And uh, I've had to take a few limbs off that uh, were getting really bad. Uh, cherry trees that are native to this area, uh, they get a, a canker. And I had to take this branch off, but there's new suckers growing out of it. But yeah. Here's the base of the tree. So yeah guys, I just wanted to share this uh, this giant cherry tree that's in my front yard right by the road. And it, it's beautiful. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. It would be a lot nicer though if it had fruit on it because that would be a lot of fruit if it was. So, if you're gonna plant a cherry tree, guys, make sure it's got one with fruit. Because then not only do you get these beautiful flowers, but you get to eat all the fruit.